I were you because uh, green card holders were being treated on a case-by-case -case basis. And did you get any sense, because there's been a lot of reports in terms of the lack of a, a preparation uh, for this uh, this order, did you get any sense that the, the customs officials and the others that you dealt with, the immigration officials, were on the same uh, wavelength or knew what they were doing, or was there a lot of confusion? It was a lot of confusion. It was very chaotic, and they admitted it to me. Um, it was interesting watching, I feel like when I first got into the holding area, which I was quite familiar with, uh, um, because when I was on F1 and, and, and when, I was on, when I was on a student and work visa, I was often questioned in that room. I never expected to be in there as a green card holder. Um, but, you know, there, there was a lot of confusion. They didn't know what to do with us. And in the beginning, I felt like I was being treated quite well. Um, and as the night progressed, I feel like I watched our uh, kind of progressive criminalization, if you will. Um, and that was as people were trying, uh, scrambling to get direction from um, higher ups in Washington. They weren't used to holding green card holders, right? Exactly. And so do you feel you were treated differently um, uh, as not only an immigrant, but as an African immigrant? You know, it's an interesting question. I think on the one hand, I was uh, probably treated much better than other people, partly because of my affiliation with Stanford. Um, Had Stanford helped you come back fa as fast as you could once they yes. realized what was happening? Yes, they, they paid for my ticket. Um, I also, during the interview, told them that I was a Stanford PhD student. Um, and you were a Harvard undergrad? Yes. Um, so I think that, you know, led to me being detained for five hours as opposed to another Sudanese person who was detained for 30 hours in his, in his 70s. Um, so I think that that's one aspect of it. On, on the flip side, when I went to Terminal 4, they didn't know my background. And I did feel, um, you know, I, I guess the point that I actually want to make, is, you know, I think this order is a reflection of a, um, of a larger trend in this country to criminalize black people, to criminalize immigrants, to criminalize Muslims. And as a black Muslim immigrant, I'm really concerned about that. And I do think that the Somalis and Sudanese, um, people of African descent who are, who are going to be affected by this, um, you know, I think they're going to be treated differently. Frankly. You made the point that uh, other terrorists, um, uh, people like Dylan Storm Roof, who uh, murdered a bunch of innocent civilians, terrorizing a whole population, you've made a comparison to how communities are treated. 